Hi again, Chris Swift, Harley, not around, but this is Travels with Harley. My heart is a ghost town. It's a bummer I couldn't bring Harley today, but it's just me out in the field practicing with the Karma drone. I couldn't bring Harley because the, the family's out the uh, wife and the kids are off doing their thing. Harley, she doesn't have her she doesn't have her third round of Parvo shots yet. So I'm out here in nature. If she knew, she would be super jealous. Get ready to watch some cool aerial footage of the ranch where Harley's going to be doing all of her hunting training. She'll be doing a retriever training as well as her on commands from the blind, sit, stay, come, all that. Stay tuned for more. And check out the property. Let's get it. spotted some geese. I'm gonna see if I can set the drone up and fly over them. Way out there. I'm gonna fly the drone straight at them. We'll see what happens. One of the hardest things about flying this thing is is the the remote and the up down you probably saw in the last video where i crashed it and that was because i was pushing down on the joystick thinking that that would go up because all my training with nintendo and super nintendo and sega and all those from back in the day you push down you go up so i got a little overconfident and smash luckily the thing is built really well and no damage was done whatsoever. But other than that, I, it's the simplest damn thing that I've ever flown. Of course, the quality of the video is unbelievable. I am having a weird problem with the gimbal and I had this problem before the crash too. Sometimes when it powers up on the, the grip and also on the drone now, it starts tilted. So I have to restart it and then it reorients itself. I don't know what that's about. I'll look it up. Some sure somebody else has had the same experience but ooh, I think I'll film here what do you know there were some geese on this pond they saw me coming so they flew before I got a chance to fire it up but there might still be something out there so we're gonna fly over and see That was them. They came back. I guess they were interested in what I'm doing. One incredibly cool feature about this thing, so far it hasn't screwed up, is that when it gets to about two, three minutes of battery life, it comes back to you automatically. You don't have a choice. And right now it's centering up above me to the where it launched from. On a GPS, it's gonna. I'm looking slowly coming down to me, which is pretty cool. to move obviously but to me that's one of the really cool features about this thing ensuring that you don't drop it in the water <laughs> because you're you're too aggressive filming and 
down she comes. Safe and sound. Turns off. Uh oh. Yeah, that's what you get for landing in tall grass. Thank you, Karma. I just got to a new field. And I think that there might be some ducks on the water here. So I'm trying to be sneaky and a little quiet. I'm charging everything back up. I'm getting ready to fly. finished flight number two with the battery so my only I guess my only real issue real complaint about this about the drone the karma uh, is battery life it says 25 minutes but really you're looking at like 15 at best I landed the battery life on the remote said I had about five minutes left by the time I landed it was uh, like four and a half and then I saw something else I wanted to record and so I tried to take off again and the remote said no battery the battery is too low for takeoff so so I don't the accuracy of minutes not entirely accurate I would say you probably expect that you're only gonna get 15 minutes of solid flying so plan your shots have an extra battery and I have two but you know when you're out in the field like this so that's the solution it, have a portable battery charger on the wall on a regular home socket it seems to take to get a full charge on the battery seems to take about a minute per minute of flight time so it took about 20 minutes to charge a battery and when you're out in the middle of nowhere it's kind of a pain in the ass i'm headed back to the little house right now my charge back charge up both batteries and then try to get some more flight time in hopefully we're back in the air soon okay battery charger is going i'm already on two bars now we wait all right very quick update on the battery charging 25 minutes of wait time we're still only charging on the third bar right now in all likelihood, it takes 45 minutes to charge one battery that'll last us 15 minutes at maybe 20 minutes at best. There has to be a better way. I still love my Karma drone, but I hate the battery life part. Yeah, battery bad. All right, so I decided to cut my charging short because I'm incredibly impatient. I'm going to head over to a different part of the ranch and see what we what kind of flight time we can get out of a, a two and a half point battery charge and we'll hit the skies. Let's see. All right, heading off to a different part of the ranch now. Lots of water on the property. 
tons of water which in my view makes for some pretty cool looking shots I wish I had Miss Harley with me today it would make for a better travels with Harley obviously but she is without her she's without her third round of shots so I don't want to take the chance of her getting parvo it would be a oh, it would be a nightmare if I lost her we got some vultures flying here check this out I think we've got some kind of dead critter over here I don't know what it might be but I'm gonna go check it out let's go look I changed my mind. I'm gonna try to fly the drone with these things. Let's see how that works out. Did it? Sort of. Flew with the, the vultures. But one of them kind of dive bombed in a couple times, but because of the such wide angle of the GoPro, it, it didn't look that close, but it was pretty close. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, that's a wrap for travels with Harley, even though Harley wasn't here on this one. This is all about the GoPro Karma and the GoPro 5. Showing you guys how it works, a little follow up to the last one. So that's it, wrap for Travels with Harley for today. I'm Chris Swift, this is Harley, and we're saying goodbye.